Good morning everybody. We're going to make something that looks like a little St. Patrick's Day and it's called rainbow cupcakes. Now you can make them as a rainbow poke cupcake and poke the cupcake once it's done with some jello but something has come up today and I cannot do that so we're just making it into rainbow cupcakes. You need one cake mix of your choice, one um, you need one cup of water, one third cup of vegetable oil, three eggs, and that's it. And if you want to do the poke cake, you take um, jello and you just poke the holes and pour the jello in once it's baked and let it cool completely. And I'll get into that after they're baked. But you want to follow the box. Whatever cake box recipe you get, you want to follow the box. Okay? So, I'm going to pan you down and we're going to get started. Okay, we have the cake mix here. One cake mix of your choice. Then you want to take one cup of water and pour it in. Then you want to take a third cup of vegetable oil. Put that, pour that right in. You either want to take three eggs or three egg whites. I'm going to just put the whole, the whole eggs right in. It's your choice, either or. Now, if you're using the Jello poke, it's good to get a white cake mix for this. That way, that way, this Jello will show up good in the cake. Okay, just like that. And now we're just going to mix this all together until it's incorporated. I hope everybody's having a fine day today. It's kind of cloudy here in Maine. Ray, do you know what the temperature is today here? It's 24 degrees here in Maine. And we've got some things going on that may require to be gone all day. So, that's why I'm not doing the poke with the Jello. If I'd have been home all day, I would have I would have made it that way. But you can make it either way, either or. Some people like Jello, and some people don't. You just want to incorporate this all together, get it mixed up really well. Sorry, got to change arms. That's my sore shoulder. I should have got the electric mixer out, but I got to work these arms. Work it, baby, as they say, work it. And you wanna have your oven on at 350, and these will bake for about 25 minutes. You just need to check. You need to check as we go. Now, I also wanna point out, as I'm putting the batter into the liner, I have my old liners here. I could not find any St. Patrick Day liners anywhere for the last couple of weeks. And there is a difference, and I think I told you that last time I used cake liners. Okay, the batter's all done. It looks beautiful. I use an ice cream scoop because it helps me regulate the size. But, this is a 12 cup. Look how big these liners are. Look, and look at the pan. I mean, these are the regular ones, but the ones you get today, this is a smaller pan as well. The liners are smaller. I have to push them like this to get them in. But, oh well, enough of that. And also I noticed today on the cake mix, this used to be 18 ounces, gone down to 16.25. Less ounces as well. Okay, let's get these put in. I'll show you about how much batter I put in. Mm, try to put in about half, three quarters, just like this. Yeah, 
us like this. What's everybody doing for St. Patrick's Day? Us, we don't have any plans. And everything around here for all the suppers and everything eh, that requires a crowd has been canceled. Okay, I'm just going to fill these, put them in the oven at 350, and I'll bring you back to point out here look at this see one missing you only get 11 cupcakes now with the 16.25 ounces and that's just a little over half filled so see how everything is downsizing time to go in the oven okay we've got the cupcakes done right here don't they look good we got 12 of them good sized just like this maybe if i didn't fill it so full with batter i could have got 12 but i got 11. and we're going to make um the frosting it's three quarter cups of crisco one teaspoon fourth of a teaspoon of salt a half a cup of water five cups of powdered confectionery sugar, a third cup of dry milk, and one teaspoon of vanilla. And I use dried vanilla because um, sometimes I use this in my bacon, and this is vanilla powdered that I got from Mexico that I absolutely love. And it's right here. And I'm gonna mix this up now and we have some green food coloring we're gonna put in. And also, I'm using these to top them off. It's called Sour Belts. And there's the rainbow right there. Okay, so let's get started. Got the mixer this time to save on my shoulder. We'll start and then I bring you back when I finish it. I'm not gonna bore you with the mixing, I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm back right now. This is the frosting. I put 15 drops of green food coloring in. I use this for a spatula. I always gravitate towards this. Um, I could use an offset one, but I really like this. This makes a really good frosting. Okay, we're just gonna put it on like this. I'm just gonna do a couple, then I will bring you back. Could pipe it on, but I think with what we're going to do, it will look just as nice doing it this way. Okay, this one there. Oh, these smell good. I guess if you wanted a little minty flavor, you could put in a little mint in the green frosting that would taste pretty yummy you know grammy she's always thinking out of the box and we'll do one more just like this i'm gonna have a lot of frosting left over but i've got plans for that just like this Okay, we're just going to do three for right now. And what we're going to do is we're going to take these. This is what it looks like. I got them at Dollar General for $1. And it, it's called Sour Belts. And you're going to take the Sour Belt. And you're just going to put it right in. Just like this. Wondering if you shouldn't build the side. Some of them have a little more. I'm gonna try something. Right there. Uh, like I said, I'm just gonna try that. I saw this done with white before, like to see if it holds it. You can push this in. Not 
really. Yeah, maybe. And there's two. The only thing is it builds it up just a little where you can have a little something to stick the sides in. And you could pipe this on if you wanted it. But it's entirely up to you. It's your creation with your twist. As I always say, there you have it, right there. How cute is that? Okay, I'll bring you back when more is done. Okay, folks, there you have it. Somewhere over the rainbow cupcakes. And they came out really nice. I'll put the recipe in the description box below. Give you a close up here. There, yeah, how cute is that? So if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. You never know what's going to be on my videos. Be kind, be loving, be patient to all. God bless, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye now.